Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my go-to everyday makeup routine. This is what I do on days that I feel like wearing makeup, but I'm not filming a video. Because most of the time on days like that, I don't really do any heavy like eye makeup and sometimes I don't even do makeup at all eye makeup at all so that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today my go-to it's pretty much my go-to products not really the routine because the routine is so basic but these products I have been using over and over and over again and I absolutely love all the combinations of them together so I'm going to show you guys that and also I did really try on my hair today I curled it but my hair just doesn't hold anything and I think I'd like it better if I tried a different hairspray I'm actually going to pull it back a different way too. I mean, the curl looks so nice when I finish with it, but it just falls out so fast, no matter how much I spray it. But I think I'm gonna try a different hairspray and I'm gonna get a different curling, um, um, something probably different to curl it with because I curled it with a straightener and I like the way it looks because my hair is shorter, but it's just all gonna fall out and be straight in like an hour. So that is pretty much it because I know this video is going to be a little lengthy because it's going to be a talk through. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, if you guys hear anything in the background, my dad is home and he's in there watching TV. So if you hear the TV, I am sorry. But yeah, that's what that is. If you hear anything, I'm to get that curl a little bit fresh. And I'm wearing a hoodie today. It's a little cold outside. I'll probably take it off because I'll end up getting it super hot. But then, anyway, I already have my eyebrows done. And I used the Anastasia Brow Duo for that. And just a Morphe M165 brush. I already have my face primed as well. I use the NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer. I'm just kind of working through all my primers and using them up before I start trying out new ones. My hair is super okay we'll get over it so since I'm not really gonna be doing the eye makeup I'm just gonna jump into my face and for foundation I have been using the makeup revolution conceal and define um, full coverage foundation and I absolutely love this foundation it's super full coverage and you guys are about to see my skin doesn't look that great right now I've got a lot of under the skin breakouts going on and I don't know if it's just because I'm trying out something new um, for skincare I'm kind of thinking that's what it is I'm using Curology so overall like my main like really big breakouts they heal a lot faster and they don't I don't get them as often but these under the skin bumps that I have have gotten worse and I don't know if that's just my skin adjusting to the product or not I'm gonna give it about another month and if it's still like that I'm gonna email them see if I can get the formula on my bottle changed I am gonna have a video coming soon about Curology letting you guys know like in-depth thoughts about it because it's so it's everywhere like that's every single ad I saw on YouTube and Instagram for like months until I ordered it and then I kept seeing them and then I finally stopped it finally stopped so um yeah I'm gonna do a video about that so I mean just that's one layer of the foundation it covers so much and even on some days when I don't like when I do even less makeup than what I'm doing today I'll use this as concealer just to add like an extra layer under my eyes and because I'm just not really loving my skin right now I'm gonna do another layer just right here in this area. And I'm just using a Sonia Kashuk um, sponge from Target. It's super early for me to be up. I'm not normally up filming this early. It's like eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, I know a lot of people are thinking that's not that early, but normally, cause I work night, late nights most time. So I'm not up this early, but I was up like at six today. So I figured I might as well stay up and film. So here we are. Um, I'm just gonna add this where I want a little bit more coverage. Oh, but anyway, yeah, definitely let me know if you guys like seeing videos like that because I don't like putting 
like 100% negative videos out there, but I want to be honest about products and if they're going to work for you guys. I mean, I really want the honesty on this channel and I don't want anything sugar coated pretty much. Um, I know that could be bad, but hey, I don't want to be lied to and I know you guys don't want to be lied to, especially when you're spending your own money on these products you want to know like the truth before you buy it and I don't know I mentioned this in the video but sometimes I feel like um, sometimes I feel like youtubers even though they are being a hundred they say they're being a hundred percent honest and that because they get PR or get something from that brand they are gonna be 100% honest I feel like they I feel like they're honest but I don't feel like they're as harsh as they could be because when you're I feel like when you're receiving makeup like that it's kind of hard to put yourself back in the consumer part of it even though they used to be consumers like it's hard to get yourself back in that I feel like I mean I don't know 100% but that's just what I think um so yeah, you're being honest, saying that the product's not great, but you're just not, you're sugarcoating it because I feel, I just, I don't, if I want to be like just blunt, I feel like they sugarcoat it because they are getting the product from that brand and they all have like discount codes and like stuff like that with the brand. So I know some brands could be like that to where if they, someone said something bad about their product, they don't want to send it or they don't want to work with that person again so i feel like there is some type of hold back when it comes to certain people with certain brands that's just my opinion on the way i think things work here um i could be completely wrong i mean i would like to think everybody's being completely 100 percent honest with what they're telling us and their reviews no matter their um, relationship with the company but you never know so i'm gonna take oh i'm sorry i didn't tell you what concealer i use but i just use the this is the makeup revolution conceal and define concealer i use c1 at first now i'm going in with a little bit of c3 i don't talk i'm just gonna make sure right under my eye is really blended out because if you don't blend out the creasing you're just gonna set it when it's creased and it's gonna stay creased all day I'm taking the cover FX loose powder on a morphe sponge and I'm just gonna bake under my eye Sedona lace this is their EB 13 brush I'm just gonna use my finger and kind of blend out that concealer I put on my eyelid so I'm not setting a crease down for that and take some of that cover fx powder the baby's sleeping hard over there and i'm just gonna blend this on the eye okay i'm gonna do the same i would like 100 percent honesty as i know a lot of you guys would because we are buying this makeup and it's disappointing when you get a product and the brand's been so hyped up and the product is just not what you think it's going to be because the way it was talked about so that's kind of why i want to do it because i want 100 percent honesty with my channel and i want people to be able to trust what i say and to come back and like just I want people to trust what I say that they know they can come to my channel for that honest um that honesty and like I said I'm not saying everybody else is 100% not truthful but I think there's a lot of hold back like I said so I'm putting some of this cover effects powder on my smile line and right here in my nose crease on my nose is of my noses the creases of my nose to set the rest of my face I'm gonna be using this Tarte Shape Tape setting powder 
and I don't know how I feel about this powder. I've been using it a lot. I don't like this little puff and I don't like this little um, mesh thing that's right here above the powder. I hate it. But I'm going to just take a brush into this and this is just the BH Cosmetics. It's from their Aurora Lights um, brush set, which they don't sell the brush set anymore. I got this at Marshalls, but they do sell their Aurora Lights palette still, which is a little odd. I just, okay. I'm gonna take this and just up. And then as I'm setting, I'm just going to kind of wipe away and set up that powder around my nose and my mouth. And like, I feel like, I don't know if you guys can see, I think you can, like, you can really see these under the skin bumps, what I'm talking about. Like I said, I don't know if that's my skin adjusting. We are going to wipe away this powder from under the eye. Because I don't like it sitting too long because I feel like it makes my eyes, the like under eyes a little dry. I'm just using a Morphe M438 brush to wipe this away and I'm kind of going over my lids a little bit more making sure those are nice and set into place. Going over every, pretty much everywhere that I've baked to make sure everything's blended out. I will still get creasing in these smile lines. It's like nothing I do, no matter what powder foundation I try. It's, they just, they're there. I can't, can't get rid of it. So I'm using this Tarte Park at Princess Matte Bronzer on this little elf um, complexion brush. This is from like other holiday kit. 2017 I think and I'm just going to put that on there and I've been trying to focus on putting my bronzer higher up because normally I go way too low with it so I'm going to kind of put this like above that hollow because it'll kind of fall down into the hollow as I go and I did this yesterday and it just looked so good let me see I hate like doing this side of my face. It's never as smooth with the, my bronzer. I'm gonna take this around my forehead, sides of my face. I'm gonna just very lightly like run along the side of my nose. I don't really do this to contour my nose, but I do this to kind of tie like my complexion color all together. So I don't just have like this bronze like perimeter. There's like something in the center of my face that's not like completely like flat. And I just do it under my lip. Under my lip I do it to kind of get like that fuller lip. But my nose is not really like a contour. I'm okay with my nose. So, so now I'm going to do some blush. And for blush I've been using this Milani palette that I hauled in my last video. This is just the Flowers of Love powder, rose powder blush. And I just, I don't think the blushes are individually named. That's just what they're called. But I've been taking a mix of these two right here and just putting that on. I feel like I don't see a lot of color right away. So I just keep going until I'm happy with the color. Yeah, I don't really mess with this first one right here because it's very light. I could probably get away with it as a highlight, especially in the summer. I'm just going to go back in with this Cover Effects powder on my Morphe sponge. And we're going to clean it up. I like to take it up a little bit like this, especially when I go a little too heavy on my blush. It'll it'll be good. I'm just gonna put some more on my smile lines. And that's it. So while that's sitting, I'm going to do mascara. And mascara, I have just been using this Cover Up Girl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. Um, I used to use this forever ago, and I love. I forgot how amazing it was. So I've been loving this recently. I'm just gonna take this. I use this on my bottom and top lashes. Sometimes I curl my lashes before, sometimes I don't. So 
So I'm just gonna take a spoolie and run through this really quickly because I got a little too clumpy. I got a little crazy with it. So I'm just gonna kind of break those lashes apart. I wanna get one of those like, um, I've been seeing people use those like metal things on their lashes. I wanna get one of those because I think they sell them at Ulta. So I'm gonna leave those alone so that mascara that I got under my eye can dry. I'm going to go ahead and blend, um, or yeah, just blend all this out. And I'm just using a Real Techniques powder brush. I don't think they sell this set anymore. I've had it forever. Um, I love blending, like, um, blending this part out with any type of dual fiber brush. So like a stippling brush, any type of like that. So I used to use, and I don't know what happened to my stippling brush, honestly. I had to throw it out, but uh, this is pretty good. It's pretty much the same thing. It's just not as good for foundation. I'm gonna take a Q-tip. I like using a Q-tip as opposed to something like a little bit rougher. And like try to get this mascara off. There we go. So if you just have a little bit of patience, let your mascara dry when you get it on your eye like that, you can get it off without ruining your makeup. Sometimes I will also do like a nude liner in the um, waterline to open my eyes up a little bit more on days like this, but I haven't been feeling it lately. It gets a little too heavy for me, like feeling in my eye. So what I'm going to do is just take the highlighter that I use on my face and I I've been going back and forth when I do this look between the ColourPop Flexitarian highlighter and also the Anastasia Amrezy highlighter. And I think I'm going to do the Amrezy one today. Um, I'm just taking this um, brush from the Aurora Lights collection. When I put this highlighter on yesterday, I almost think it was a little too dark for me. Because when I looked forward, it was kind of a weird cast, but it's not as bad as some like my other highlighters I have. But, so I think I can get away with it. I'll really know when I'm editing. Because, like, the monitor that I use, the colors are a little off on it. I need to see if I can mess with the coloring. Because stuff that I think looks okay, like, color-wise, on my monitor, does not look like that at all when I edit. So I'm just going to use this on my nose, on my cupid's bow. Really get this. I've really been liking, like, getting more highlight, like, right here my face that way when I'm looking like straight ahead you can see it as opposed to just like when I'm turned to the side so I've been really focusing that and oh my god my little nose I love getting highlight on my nose like that and I keep it well. so I'm just gonna take a tiny little brush I had one yesterday that I was using where is it okay I don't know where the brush I was using yesterday but this is just a BH cosmetics brush I'm just going to take this and use this on my inner corner Ugh, I like the brush I was using better yesterday because it just put so much more color on there. Where is that? This is not it, but it's a little bit more similar to it. Sorry, my cats are running back and forth. Yeah, this is better. See, putting this on the inner corner of my eye kind of opens it up, I think. Not as much as if I were to do a nude liner, but like I said, nude liner sometimes feels just way too heavy for me on the inner part of my eye. So I'm just gonna kind of take this up onto the lid right there and just like a little bit down here. Okay, that's it. So before I do my lips, I'm going to spray my face and I've been loving this um, Milani Make It Dewy setting spray. I love the Milani Make It Last. I have one here that I'm almost out of and I have a backup right there. And I think the Make It Dewy is gonna be my new favorite. Because I love the way it makes my makeup feel. Like, I feel like this melts everything in a little bit better than the Make It Last does. And the Mist is a little bit more fine as well. As opposed to Make It Last. Like, the Make It Last Mist I thought was good, but I, I love this one. So let me set my eyebrows in place. I'm never happy with how my eyebrows look, and I know they to me they never look even, and they probably don't to you either, but yeah, I'll master it someday. I'm sisters, not twins, you know? Sisters, not twins. 
so for lips i've been kind of just like switching up for what i'm feeling that day today i'm feeling something a little dark normally i either go for the dose of colors talk is chic or the dose of colors a mob story from the desi x katie collection but first today i'm going to line my lips this is the nyx um lip liner in nude pink i'm gonna line my lips with this because since i'm doing a darker shade i really want to make sure that it looks good so i'm gonna line my lips with this i don't have a lot of nude or i don't have a lot of lip liners so i'm just gonna do a nude one for this okay so like i said i'm feeling something a little dark today so i'm gonna be using the dose of colors extra saucy this is a really deep vampy color it's well, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I like it. We're going to start over. So, I'm probably going to just do a nude. That's why my fallback is the nude. I just, I'm not good at applying these bolder lip colors. I love the way they look when I can apply them correctly. But it's like my lips, I hate my lip shape because I feel like they're so uneven that it just makes it hard for me to do anything bold because you can see the unevenness in my lips. Like, I feel like my cube is so... One side is higher than the other, and I can, I always, like, try to even it out, and it just ugh, doesn't work. So this is a mauve story from Dosa Colors. Don't know why I tried to stray away. Why did I try to use something else? Hmm. Love it. Ready for round three? Let's spread my face again. So this is my very dewy um, everyday makeup routine. I have been loving doing this because it's so simple. It's so simple and it's so fresh looking like this is probably a little bit of heavier for day to day because I did use a fuller coverage foundation. But with the way my skin's been lately, I've been loving this foundation and it's so affordable from Makeup Revolution. And then this Make It La Make It Dewy one, I love it. It is so luminous. Like my skin, I feel like looks so good when I use it. I still love to make it last. It's so good, but it's just. I think I'm referring to make it dewy. But um, anyway, that is it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's very simple. It's not something like crazy out there tutorial. This is probably still going to be like a 15, 20 minute video. It's kind of like a chatty video. Um, so yeah, that's, um, this is the look. This is it. I'm done. We're done. We're done here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up before you leave and subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified anytime that I post a video. And you can also follow me on my socials, which I'll have listed in the description box down below. There's Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I almost said Facebook. I don't have my Facebook anymore. Um, so definitely follow me on Instagram, like I always say, because that's the place I'm the most active. And I do a lot of polls on my Insta stories. So I would really love for you guys to go follow me over there and participate in my polls so I can kind of know more what you guys would like to see on my channel. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.